Alright everybody, I have edited together a speed deck that hopefully will not, you know, suck. Because the last one, they, the starter deck didn't even let you use any speed spells. They took them out of the deck, which... It's like, well, if you're gonna show me this new mechanic, why not even- why, why not give me the options? So, I've put together a speed deck based on the cards we already owned, and I want to test it on this guy. Let's try a Turbo Duel. Okay, baby, think you can keep up with me? I hope so. So this guy's name is Bass or whatever, he's awesome. He's a nice guy. Yo. He just wants to help me get better at the game, and I appreciate that. So we're gonna activate the speed world, and then we're gonna do some, uh, yeah, do some speed racing. This deck is called The Need. Now let's get on with the speed duel. And there we go, we're going first. Alright, starting hand. I have some decent cards. Not what I really wanted to start with, but it's okay. D yeah, that's... Yeah, this game loves to make fun of me. It's like, oh, I'll put together a pretty decent deck here and there, and they threw it away by giving me this card. Also, I thought I took Graceful, Ch uh, Graceful Revival out. That was not supposed to be in the deck. Okay, hmm. Well, I'll probably take it out on camera right now, but first things first, let's let Howling Insect die. I really, really wasn't supposed to draw my other one, though. That's... God, is that unlucky. Wow, he's not going aggressive, but he loves his traps. Remember last, uh, last episode? So if I try to go aggressive, he'll probably trap me. Oh look, I drew one of my speed spells. Alright, cool. The one the game starts me with is Speed Dash Pillar. Activate by removing four speed spells to control one face-up defense monster. Yeah, the odds of that happening are pretty low, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, if I were to flip this card, would you just simply pop it? Yeah, I thought so. This duel's starting to look like the last one. Oh, I've lost a Howling Insect, and I don't want to lose another, so I'm going to just set. Even if he does end up Tribute Summoning or whatever, I just I just don't want to lose it, so. Let's see what he does. Four and four. Steamroid's pretty good. That is a pretty good card. What about the other one? He has his own speed spell. What does this one do? I did not get to see what it did. It, I had no time to read it. Crap. Alright, well he used that speed spell for a reason. Hopefully it doesn't negate effects, because that's something I really need to do. And no, we don't want to Divine Wrath. Alright, let's go ahead and get our swarm of insects on the field. I happen to have one in my hand as well. That was not supposed to happen, but it happened. Um, more trap cards from this guy, so I should assume I'm not going to win the fight. Uh, Wild Heart, I'm gonna win the fight. Hell yeah! I threw Wild Heart because I knew that speed spells are rare, so that means... Let's see, during this turn, activate, remove one of your opponent's speed counters for every 500 points of damage flipped to your opponent. So, it never used it, it never did anything. I activate my card. And then, let's see what happens if I summon Wild Heart. Do you have anything you can do? Didn't think so. And there's no spell cards on the field, so I'm gonna flip my Scarabs. And my scarabs are going to pop your face down because we have no information on that card. No. It was Express Roid, okay. Wild Heart, you're going to take out that Steam Roid for me. Damn, that doesn't target Wild Heart, but okay. This is starting to look exactly how our first duel looked. It's kind of weird. The good news is I'm winning this time. I have the field advantage and my monsters are actually, like, usable. Now, if they get rid of my Scarabs, that's fine, because then I get to go full on with my uh, Bazoo the Soul Eater. And that'll be a fun time. Ah, uh, these speed spells, man. I drew the one that doesn't really do much, because they have to be face up. Stealth Roid, yep, that would kill me. That would kill me. Sorry, Swarm of Scarabs, but your death is for my benefit. Because now I get to use Bazoo the Soul Eater to his full effect. Until I've realized that my opponent does have a trap card that uh, Wild Heart was immune to. Ragaki Break, that's good. I can get rid of their trap cards with that if I need to. I can get rid of this useless spe speed spell with it too. Alright, Bazoo, my boy, my, my buddy. It's time to hit the field. Well, first, let's see if they have a trap. Okay, no summon trap. And now we're going to devour souls to get stronger. All the souls. Yes. All these insects are mine. Now, to guarantee the death, I want Wildheart to do the attack. 
Because this next attack might just get killed. I, I might just get killed by Sakuretsu armor. And then this duel will look exactly like the last one. It doesn't! Yay! Blue! Uh, my Dark Magician basically just attacked. Go Bazoo! Oh, he lost two speed counters for that. You see, guys? If you just didn't, don't give the player a crappy deck. Like, why would you do that? The speed duels don't happen until late in this game. Well, late. Maybe it's not that late. I'm just taking my time since I've never played this game before, but... Like, the speed duels have, are not happening, so why are you, uh... Why are you making it take so long? Uh, Raigeki Break can win me the duel guaranteed. Um, and I probably will do it, but let's just wait. Solemn Judgment's pretty good. Alright, well, I don't need my speed spell if my, uh, opponent is dead. So, let's do that. Raigeki Break. There we go. See, I found a use for a speed spell. Stealth Roid is dead. Swarm of Scarabs hits the field. And my opponent is dead. Nope, no need for that. Let's go ahead and destroy. Wild Heart attack. Beautiful. We're not done just yet, though. Uh, first, lose the speed counter. Monkey attack. There we go. There we go. And Scarab's attack. He won't lose the speed counter for this one. It's just a baby attack. Alright. Well, I felt like I've done my job. And now Scarab's makes it so I have a guaranteed victory. Th also thanks to Solemn Judgment. So I don't care. You never built up speed counters because I took advantage of the duel. He who takes advantage of a turbo duel wins the turbo duel. Hell, I can almost use Pot of Greed if I happen to draw that card. Yeah, I'm still thinking I gotta take out Graceful Revival because I do not have an option for it. But then you guys get to peek at my deck, and I don't think I like that. I think I'll let you guys peek, don't worry. Alright, Swarm of Scarabs, win me the duel, guaranteed. Doesn't matter what they do, I have Solemn Judgment. And we beat the tester of the speed duels. Goodbye, Truckroy. That card would have stopped me. But now that there's nothing that can stop me, I activate... I mean, I attack with Wildheart. GG, baby. GG. I like this guy. This guy's cool. Thank you for all your help. You made, you made me try hard so that I, I could get better at Yu-Gi-Oh. All right. You know what? If I'm going to do speed duels, maybe I should bring... I have an idea. Never thought I'd meet somebody faster than me. Alright, so I've defeated the speed duel guy. And now that I've done that, we're going to do a real quick edit of our deck. Because I swear I took out Graceful Revival, but the game says I didn't. So let's go to Graceful Revival and take that card out. And let's add a different trap card. Whoops. You know what? Let's add a monster card. I have a better idea. There's a monster I want in my deck. Let's go to attack points and just fly to the bottom. I don't know if I have it in this game, but we should check. They're kind of in the middle. That's why I didn't just do this, but... Alright. It's around here. Let's see if I have... Yeah! Alright, Dream Clown's in. We're going to use my signature monster. The monster everyone knows me for. And now that we've done this, we've won a duel. I feel pretty tough. Let's go to the duel arena and see how I can do against the real opponents. That guy was just the test. My real deck, uh, I mean, my, my regular dueling deck and my uh, turbo dueling deck are completely different. So I'm expecting some fun times. Excuse me, officers, I'm coming through. All right, and there should be a save point. Oh, thank God. You guys know how, how scary this game can be. Hello, sir. Welcome, duelist. Here at the stadium, we are holding the preliminary tournament. Oops, is that you, Cooper? <laughs> hey, it's good to see you, MC. Remember, you remember me. Okay, so only one person will get to move on. I'm ready. The preliminaries are here, everybody. If I want to make it to the Fortune Cup, I must win in the preliminaries. My first turbo, turbo duel opponent shall be... Their vehicle looks a little more fancy than mine. Oh my god, is that Trudge. Oh crap, he's going to have Goyo Guardian. 
What are you doing here? How in blazes did you sneak by? Uh, it doesn't matter. I was looking for you anyway, so this just makes things easier. Once I win the competition is over, it's I'm going to haul you straight away. Dude, I, I earned my freedom. You're a dick. So, Trudge is actually one of the speed duelists, and I'm actually kind of scared because that guy is a really good duelist, and he owns the Goyo Guardian. And that card is busted. I don't really have that many options for dealing with it in my speed deck. But I'm sure I'll figure something out. Okay, they let me go first for Duel's End versus The Need. Let's see how we do. Speed Duel, start. Hmm, I drew that useless speed spell again. I have five speed spells in my deck, and that's the one I draw. This game likes me. I can already tell. But I have a use for that, uh, that card in this game. Because I need something for my Raigeki Break. And my Oyster Meister... It probably can overpower most of Trudge's cards, so I'm just going to leave it face up. If he finds a way to pop it, that's all fine by me. Alright. Jute Fighter, that's not scary. Oh wait, its effect is kind of scary. However, I could Compulse. But if I do that on just a Jute Fighter, I'll feel like a like a loser. But if I don't do it, I lose my Oyster Meister and gain nothing. Damn it. You got me, Trudge. You got me. You never thought I'd ever have to do this, but I use it. Now play your million trap card. What? Well, at least I got you to do your battle phase. All right. Well, <laughs> no, sir. I will not be facing your Montas Dragon which, with how much attack, sir? 2,400? No, I'm not fighting a Red Ice today. Thank you. Um, you could go straight to hell. I hope you enjoy it there. And Montas Dragon, as cool as it is, I do not want to fight one. I like the animation for it, though. Um, yeah, we're up to three spell counters. Or speed counters, I should say. And look at that, guys. My DD Warrior Lady Oyster Meister combo are in complete control. Um, I don't think there's any spell cards to destroy my back row, so I'm pretty cool. I mean, granted, I don't know any of the speed spells. I only know the one, the five I own. I don't even know those. I didn't look them up. I kind of just threw them in the deck saying, hey, I want to use speed spells. All right, at least we're slowing him down, though. He's going to be down to two speed spells on his turn. Some cards only need two to activate, like Tweester, though. But we'll see. So far, so good. I got Trudge down. I'm up to four. He's down to two. Okay. Playing defensively, as expected. No back row. Kind of surprising. Alright, I draw a new speed spell. Let's see. This card can be activated by removing two of your speed counters. Remove six of your opponents. Okay, cool. This is just to really make your opponent suffer. Alright, attack with DD Warrior Lady. And that guy's pretty easy to kill. DD Warrior Lady, I will not be requiring your effect. Pursuit Chaser's down, and Oyster Meister's going in for another big chunk out of Trudge's life points. That's pretty cool that Trudge made it to the preliminaries. He got an invitation and all. But um, I don't think he's just up to snuff. He's, he's a decent duelist. He's not a great duelist. Hmm... I don't think I'll ever need this Speed Jammer card, now that I think about it. Well, hopefully that's not Security Orb, but there's always a chance there it is. But the, uh, the off chance it's like no entry, I need to get rid of it. It's Enemy Controller. Yep, glad that I got rid of it. No need to set a Speed Spell, that'd be a little weird. Alright, ooh, I drew a new one. What's this one? This card could be- Oh, this is Pot of Greed! Shift down. Yeah, I can't do that just yet. I'm actually getting pretty close to being able to shift down, but I think the duel's over. It was, uh, oh no, they live by 200. Damn, I needed a monster right now. My monster, uh, my deck has like 24 monsters in it, so I'm not even mad that I didn't draw a monster. Because, you know, I only have five speed spells and I've seen three of them. With 30 cards still left in my deck. At least I get to read them. There we go. 200 life points left. No way they can come back. DD Warrior Lady guarantees victory. Sorry, buddy. And you don't have enough speed counters to use any of your spell cards. A trap card, on the other hand, that's something I have no control over. 
I'll admit that scares me. But Mobius might not care. Granted, if you have Torrential Tribute, that'll suck. But if you don't have Torrential Tribute, I win. You literally, there's only one trap card that can save you right now. And I, I have it on my field, but you don't probably have it. So Mobius, why don't you go ahead and destroy that back row? Not mine. Nope. It was Dark Bribe. GG, everybody. We beat Trudge. Or oh, I'm even going to put the token in attack mode. That's how confident I am. Mobius, thank you so much for being here. Go ahead and destroy. I run a lot of Mobius in this deck as I expect my opponents to use a lot of traps. Trudge was not one of them, apparently. And with a perfect victory, Trudge is out of the preliminaries. Dun, 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 dun. Another one busts the dust. Oh, shit, he's worth a lot. Hey, I might finally get to spend money on cards again. I miss doing that. I really do. Dude, cutscene. And the winner of the duel is Cooper. Trudge has been defeated. Just remember this. I'm never going to give up till I get you. Well, actually, you will. Trust me. You will. Because if you don't, I'll hurt you. <laughs> It'll hurt. All right. Let's see what this guy's got to say. Semi-finals. I'm ready for the semi-finals, baby. I'm, I'm actually kind of enjoying Turbo Duels, since that means I don't really have to worry about spell cards. Kind of. Wait, who is that? Is that Hunter Pace? No, that's not Hunter Pace. No way. Yeah, no, it's totally him, isn't it? Yeah, it's Hunter Pace! Wait, he's in semis? Maybe you got some skills, but the way I see it, you're still just a newbie. Well, bring it on. This guy used to be a champion until Jack Atlas showed up. All right, Hunter Pace, you think you're hot shit. Literally. Let's see if I can take on your Pyramid Turtle deck. I know it's actually a Skull Flame deck, but no, it's a Pyramid Turtle deck, because that's all he ever does. I've dueled him in many other games. I know what he does. Wheel of Fire. Granted, I don't know what he does with speed cards, and I don't know how... Bur Do burn cards make it so you lose speed counters? Damn it. Damn, he's too fast for me. He gets to go first. I remember that being a thing in the anime. It's like whoever was winning the race with their vehicle got to draw first. Alright, Solemn Judgment with double Mobius and a Howling Insect. Could be good, could be bad, we don't know yet. Yeah. This deck has a lot of Monarch support. Well, Mobius would be nice for that, those back row, but how am I supposed to get rid of them? How do I keep doing that? I don't want two Howling Insects. Why does the game think I do? What is wrong with this game? Alright. I don't understand, everybody. I just don't understand. So, what are you going to do, Hunter Pace? Yep, play a little more passively, why don't you? Mobius will make quick work of you. Alright, Mobius. I think I'm ready to summon you. We're up to four speed counters, which is a little scary, because that means my opponent might be able to start using their spell cards. Alright. Let's destroy some cards. I don't know what he has down here, but we need to get rid of him no matter what. Okay, whatever that was, it's gone. And Dimensional Prison's gone. Very good hit. Now let's just hope I don't hit Pyramid Turtle. Well, that card's a problem too in its own way. This deck isn't exactly built, because there's no spell cards, isn't exactly built to deal with that. I mean, I have one speed card that can deal with it, but right now I'm in trouble. That just means he has two tributes. Or worse... I, didn't, I don't think he ever had this, but now he does. Now go ahead. Do it. Make my day. At least that one was the Pyramid Turtle. I'm glad I didn't kill that. Well, hello, Doom Kaiser Dragon. You're a uh, sight for sore eyes, but before you get summoned, why don't you go back to the grave? That's a big cost on my part, and I still don't have any control over this duel, but I had to do it. Play Spreader comes back, but I'm guessing they don't have a level 5 Synchro. And even if they did, I'm guessing a level 5 Synchro can't beat Mobius. If anything, they just threw away Plague Spreader and made it so they didn't draw anything new. Kunai with Chain can target an opponent's monster if it's attacking. Mm. I 
Yeah, that's not good. That's not going to help me here. Mobius can't target it. But you know what could? Is my swarm of scarabs. If I can get them to kill my howling insect, I can make things happen. So why don't you, howling insect, get rid of Plague Spitter for good? We don't want to deal with that card anymore. And sadly, we can't deal with Spirit Reaper just yet. But I'll find an option. I'll find an option. Right now, I'm trying to bait him into killing my own insect. That would be nice. I have enough counters, or, or I could draw that one spell card. Well, that card I didn't really want you to kill me with. However, no, wait, there's a way this works out for me. Never mind, you could kill me with that card. Thanks to Kunai with Chain, I don't even care. No, 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 go ahead, I'm down. I'm down to do what you're doing, because that means not only do I get what I want, but I can destroy what you want. And I believe... Yeah, I'm going to activate my Howling Insect. I choose Swarm of, uh, Swarm of Scarabs. You're probably going to choose your boss, the Skull Flame. Rui Koki, not what I was expecting. Definitely not what I was expecting. I thought you would have... Did they not put Skull Flame in the game? They put Hunter Pace, but not Skull Flame. I would like both effects. Yeah, now Mobius is unstoppable. My Scarabs are safe. I love Kunai with Chain. Good old Joey cards. They were very reliable. Joey cards are just a great sight. <gasps> no way! Okay, that's kind of cool. I actually have a way to use this now. I know I'm kind of lowering my speed counters, which might be a worry thing, but when am I ever going to use a speed spell? I could steal the Rui Koki. How long do I get to steal it for? Until the end of your turn. Never mind. I don't really want Rui Koki that badly. I can't win in one turn. Mm, can I? No. Like, even with maximum damage, I can't win in one turn. So instead, I'm just going to pop you. And then... I'm going to activate this effect. And I guess the new choice is Rui Koki. You should have picked Skull Flame, buddy. Because then you could have got Supersonic Skull Flame after I did this. If you had it in your hand, anyway. And then I'm going to summon... Let's go with Oyster Meister. I want more damage right now. And look at that, guys. I got 45. Oh, God. The Duel Runner's going crazy. There's actually a car show in town. It's kind of cool. Uh, my, I, I actually drove by it, and I, uh, I went to the parking lot. I got to check it out. It was kind of nice. Um, let's see. 1,600. And... 500. Looks like the Speedmaster's, you know, slowing down. He doesn't have the same need that I do. And I'm the one that used a speed spell. I could still almost keep up. Here comes another cool car. Ah, oh, they, they didn't drive by as loud. Mizuki! Oh no! The obvious target is my scarabs. But you didn't go for my scarabs. Therefore, you've lost the duel, sir. Thank you for doing this. It was a lose-lose situation, but you just decided to lose faster. That was very kind of you. Alright, Reflect Bounder. Wow, I really just had this game in the bag, didn't I? Alright, I activate Swarm of Scarabs. And I flip Swarm of Scarabs. And then with my Swarm of Scarabs, I destroy the opponent. I'm not done, though. I still have my Reflect Bounder. And just like that, Reflect Bounder is a lot more valuable because there are no spell cards. At least no common spell cards. Therefore, my opponent has to kill it. 2,900 damage. And Reflect Bounder's coming in. 1,700 damage, everybody. The duel is over. Looks like I'm the wiener. And there we go, guys. We won the semifinal match against the Skull Flame Master Hunter. Pace. But he kind of didn't use anything we expected. He sucked. My deck lost? Where'd you get that kind of power? Dude, it, dude you kind of just suck. Why are all these turbo duels way easier than the regular ones? Like, way easier. Either way, that's going to be it, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. Next episode, we're going to the finals, baby. And I hope that the finals aren't too tough. See you all then.